Hello, everybody. This is Brandon. And this is Miranda. And this is Brandanda Reviews. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not familiar with what we do here, uh, we just have a fun old time reviewing albums. Um, we talk about what we liked on the album, what we thought could be better on the album, what we would improve, um, our favorite track, and... Our final thoughts. Our final thoughts. I could not get to the finality. You were letting finality. the audience answer yes. that. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> kids. Um, anyway, so today we're talking about Andy Mineo's recent mixtape, Work in Progress. Mm -hmm. um, this is his third mixtape, and basically it's just like... Um, the way it's structured is there's a bunch of songs that maybe he didn't finish or didn't exactly like fit on any of his albums before or other projects. Mm -hmm. And he has different intros that are like podcast like intros um, going into each song. And just jumping right into it, what I liked about it was that it was very long. Um, and I mean, part of it was long because of the. Uh, podcasts that were in the middle but mm -hmm. i i do think that like there was a lot of songs on there there was a lot of uh variety i put down i love existential crises <laughs> which he definitely i mean animino in general just deals with that and mm -hmm. but there was like a lot on this because i feel like when you have them they're kind of just like burst in the moment so they're not really on a certain um like albums theme so i really like that also, I put in uh, all caps, yeehaw, <laughs> because, you know, the mm -hmm. country. Um, so, yeah, I really liked it, and I, I liked the different genres and, like, seeing mm -hmm. how diverse he is without having to, like, make it a whole big, you know, show and album. Gotcha. Uh, before I go into my thoughts, I would like to point out that uh, I'm not, the, like, the biggest Andy Minio, Andy Minio fan, Um just, I don't really like listen to a lot of his music. So if anyone out there loves Andy Manio, then that's probably why some of my thoughts makes no sense. But if you're not a fan of Andy Manio and you're wanting to get into him, maybe you should heed my advice. Just thought I need to throw that out there for someone's like, that's what he does well <laughs> or whatever. Um, I am a big fan of Andy Manio. Um, so first off uh, with my good, I just love different concepts. I love whenever someone said does something creative with the album. So just as soon as I started listening to it, I love the idea of, okay, these are tracks that, like you said, haven't been somewhere. Here's some podcast clippings. Here's some tracks he might have done, but now they're adjusted, or that's another like demo or whatever. I love when people do that because I hate when people are just like, here's our regular album. Then if they do something on the side, it's, oh, here's just a remix album or here's just a live album. Yeah. I love when it's, this feels like, you know, you're taking the time to actually create something mm -hmm. instead of just throwing it to like your record label and say ah, adjust it so we make some more money or whatever yeah. so I, I just i love different concepts and i love that about the uh the album um one thing that i didn't enjoy i mean even though i really love the podcast stuff i would rather like listen to the album and then listen to it in order with the podcast just because i don't like spoilers at all like i literally <laughs> do not watch trailers uh -huh. um and so this was just like <clears throat> it was like yeah this is about this and this and then the song was like this and this and i was like oh so it literally is about this and this which is like fine i mean mm -hmm. obviously because you're talking about what inspired it but i i think specifically it was like that um when he was talking about the woman or whatever he was like in the park yeah. and he was like this is the experience that i had and then he in the song says mm -hmm. exactly that which is like fine but <clears throat> i'd rather have my first experience of listening to that in the song mm -hmm. and so I don't know, I, if I were to like go back in time, I would listen to the music first and then I would go back and then listen to the podcast mm -hmm. before each music thing. Um, for the bad, I just, I put down like, this is like the yo-yo style. Not like a yo-yo, but just like a yo man, how you doing style. And I've never been able to get into that, um, like that genre or that part of the genre of like Christian rap or whatever. Um, so it still was just kind of difficult, like, I didn't I didn't go into this album thinking, oh, I hated I hated Andy's album because I had a couple years ago I downloaded one of his albums when it was like free on noise trade and listened to it. So this album really didn't change me into thinking I'm gonna listen to Andy Mino. Um, so just coming from the standpoint of I was an Andy Mino fan, yeah. this didn't do anything to change and for me to think, 
oh, I, I find him now more relatable or whatever. Yeah. Um, once again, that's coming from someone who already wasn't a fan. So if you're a fan, maybe you loved it. I guess it's just from that perspective, that's why I try to look for in albums that I ne not necessarily enjoy the album artist, or the yeah. artist or the genre, is that did this convert me over to thinking, oh, now I'm a fan of this person? Mm -hmm. So I didn't... I enjoyed the concept, but I didn't think that it was something that invited me in for me to be like, okay, now I yeah. I want to buy more of his stuff. I want to listen to more of his stuff. Yeah, I think in general it's more for people who are fans of him mm -hmm. and want to see stuff like that where he shows his progress. Um, my favorite song, I have three, because <laughs> it's, it's, life's too short to pick one. I liked, um, O-T-O-D a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, 1988 remake was really good, and I love, um, Anything But Country. Mm -hmm. That I played that for my dad, and he enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, my favorite track was also Anything, Anything But Country. I just enjoyed the idea of, I think, too, that's what kind of I enjoyed about it is like I said I don't really love that genre but it also reminded me that you should still give it a chance instead of just writing it off yeah which made me excited about this album because I wasn't like too excited but then when I heard that I thought okay I actually need to give this a fair shake because he's right <laughs> yeah. like um what a I, good technique yeah like marketing technique <laughs> I also loved um I think it was the podcast clip number two where he's talking about how he, he's, he's famous, he's selling records, and he had this temptation to go to other people and say, look, I made it. Like, and rub it in their face, and he's like, that's something that you need to, you know, check. And he was like, because when you start getting famous, I think he was like, you either get, like, happy or you get revenge. Yeah. Um, and I, I really liked that, and I was like, I know this isn't a track, but that's just a really, and I, to point out that I, that's why I enjoyed the podcast ones, because I felt like they, some of them they did give, like, yeah. a spoiler. Other ones, I was like, this is cute, like, a not cute little quote, a good little quote to pull out. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them, I mean, not a lot of them did, like, too much. And also, it was cool because a lot of those songs, like, I am a very avid Andy Mineo fan, mm -hmm. so a lot of the songs I already knew. And so, uh -huh. it was cool to listen to the podcast before, and then listen to the song that I had already heard and have like a new insight into mm -hmm. it um so yeah I think that it's a good album if you're an Andy Mineo fan and I mean I still think you'll enjoy it if you're not but it's something that you can go back and enjoy more if you are like if you aren't and then you become mm -hmm. an Andy Mineo fan and you come back to it. Uh, what are your final thoughts on the album that was my final thoughts on the album oh it was oh okay <laughs> I thought you were just building off a fair no. song um my thoughts is or are is I don't know I don't know how many final thoughts I have um I think it's worth a listen if you love Andy Mino I think it's just gonna like it's gonna make you grow closer as an artist because now he's giving more insight he's giving you more content uh if you're not the biggest fan of Andy Mino I think this at least gives you it's almost like having a you know five track EP and then an interview with the artist so now you get a taste of what their style is um, as well as getting to see well, who who is the man behind the music because I think it's easy just to write off whether it's like country or rap or Christian or whatever and just say oh let me just stereotype the person whereas you actually get to listen and say no there's a difference between like Andy Mineo and Lecrae there's a difference between like John Rubin and like Manifest or whatever um, so I definitely recommend it so uh, this has been Brandanda Reviews. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment. Let us know. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Make sure you subscribe to Tank Media Network. And make sure that you know that I am Brandon. <laughs> I'm Miranda. And, and this we'll is Brandanda Brand Reviews. Reviews. And we'll see you, Brandanda Reviews. <laughs>